Okay, one last thing we need to do. We need some shadows. So once you've redrawn over your lines with a Sharpie, a fine tipped uh, black pen, then we need to go in and put some shadows in. The shadows um, are what give it depth. And so the depths are kind of what we're looking for here. Um, so with what we have here, we're gonna take our straight edge. We're gonna match the angle of the overhang and we're going to slide that down just a little bit and then this is going to become our shadow depth so the sun is coming uh, really from the upper right hand side and shining down on us so your now there's two ways you can do shadow color you can either use um, black or a very, very dark blue uh, for this case i'm going to use the black and we're then go over the top of everything right where that straight edge is and we then darken that in uh, for our shadow. And that way we then get a nice crisp line. You also need to do the underside of the roof as well. Even though we've already come in there, we want that to be a little bit darker. And so we're just going to put that shadow right along there. Okay. Now we're going to bring that shadow is also going to happen um, over here on this side. So this entire side will be in shadow because of where the sun's coming from. So we're just going to start right in here, and we're going to go over all of our coloring with that shadow color, the black, and cover that whole thing, make a completely darker uh, hue than the rest of the, the brick has. Uh, so we have that color in place on there. And just bring that on down, darken it up a little bit, now when it comes across over here, we're still getting some light coming through. So we're gonna use our vanishing point a little bit here. And we're then bring the shadow down. Um, let's, let's see, that's gonna be here at kind of an angle. So it's gonna match this slope of the roof here again. And we're gonna bring that down and just darken in a little bit of that back. We don't want to do too dark because we want to be able to see uh, that the door is there. So just to bring a little dark light in there. Now we're back here to the front again. Match the slope and pull that down. And we then darken this in. So we're just going to color right along our straight edge. And do the underside of that our roof again so it's a little darker. And bring that shadow so we're getting some depth in that office a little bit there and then the same thing here on the side yeah, because of the side that's on that whole thing is in shadow but the underside of the roof is going to be the darkest now we got to do a little trick here we got to have a little angle coming off and you can kind of just do a perpendicular to your straight edge and then we want to color that in there so that's me the darkest shadow because of the overhang on that so we want to give that a good color to it and then this underside of the roof will be darkened in and then the entire side so we're gonna now go over all of our colors with a nice light um, shading of color so just the whole thing is in shadow and that's gonna give us that last little bit and we got to do a little bit more with our bushes so our bushes have shadow too and so we then come on the ground and we'll just kind of reproduce some of the circular patterns. So we have some shadow on the, on the ground a little bit there. A stair here is going to be a little darker. And that's going to cast a shadow. And that one gets a little trickier because we're going to be using those steps uh, that are reproduce themselves. Uh, as a shadow. So we're going to kind of use our vanishing lines again and put in a shadow effect of, of our uh, steps. So create that there. So we have, and we're not going to do these super dark because they're kind of getting out there in the light. So I just kind of 
fuzz that in there just a little bit. A little bit here on the side. So there's some shadow there to it. And our house shadow is also happening. So that one's gonna go do, 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 do. Following the angle we've gotten on here. It's gonna come out a little bit. So boom, boom, it's like so. And on the shadow on the ground, we don't wanna do a whole lot because it, it will distract. So then it's gonna come off the side and just let that kind of blur out just a little bit into the grass so that it's a little darker and make a little more uniform on there. So we have that shadow, maybe a little bit. Get this little angle in here. We're not gonna try to reproduce it hard because that will um, diminish more entry. So that, that kind of finishes us out on that shadow. Um, gets our color in there. I'm um, having a little bit of shadow right in this area. So we'll just sit back, kind of look at it, see where things could be uh, touched up a little bit. Um, when you're all done, you go ahead and sign your name to it. And so you're ready to go. and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, thanks for being part of this, and I hope you enjoyed it.